Okay, here we go. We're going to start up some fantasy selections. Let's see what we're going to pick this week. I'm going to go with NA only. Help me select there. So we got, uh, we got some choices here. We got some choices up top. The way this works, obviously, you got a budget. You got 9000 to work with. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with some of the picks that I think are going to free up some space. And so I think... Actually, I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go with the ones that, that take up a lot of space first, or a lot of uh, salary, a lot of money. Hmm. Do I want to go with CRR at 1600 I think that's a, probably a good pick. I think Daniel... Daniel's probably a good pick at 1650 as well. I have I think he's probably got plenty of potential to increase in price as the season goes on. I think I want to do that. I'm gonna go with Daniel up front. Try to grab him early before he is before he increases in price. Why am I doing NA only? That way I can do another league next week with EU only. If I do half NA, half EU, then I can't really set my team up all at once. So instead, what I just do is I get into two leagues. In one league, I do NA only. In one league, I do EU only. That way, I can have content every week. All right, I'm going to put Daniel in, and I think I'm going to slot CRR in here. And then we're going to see what that puts me looking at after I pick two of the big point players. Gusher is probably correct. Gusher is probably correct. If you are wanting to win, you should probably mix in your team and pick the best players out of any region. Uh, pick the best players for your team, that is. Okay. All right. Let's take a look around here. We got Mist and Sipical at 1550. Those could be good picks. I think Mist on defense could be really good. Let me see if I plug him in here, what happens as far as points. Got 4,200 left to work with in three spots. Um, so I'm going to have to go a couple of 1,400 picks. Let me go NA only again. Or maybe even C. Rebellion, big value. I agree. Rebellion is big value. I'm really tempted to go uh, stealth as well. Stealth or night one and plug them in on offense. I think Dries and Taroko be good value as well. Or they could be, I should say. Cheese could be good value at 1450. Andy could be really good value at 1450. Mm. Yeah, let's 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 try this. Let's try go let's try go two piece here. Ah. Ah. So I really I, I need to go okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I really see I wanted to go with like if I go if I went stealth up top and then Andy in the midfield I think that'd be good but Andy's just 52 he's 52 expensive at 1450 scrub RL thank you for the follow I appreciate that yeah freaking math coming back to bite us again hmm mm hmm hmm Should I plug in somebody in place of CRR or Mist? Maybe I'd have to go with a fifteen hundred in place of Mist. What are we thinking about Chronic in place of Mist? How did Chronic do? Can I click him? All right, so that was his team last season. Miss got a little bit, looks like a little bit higher potential. Why is Dan in defense rather than offense? Uh, Daniel will pick up some saves, and a lot of times your best players uh, are, are actually well-placed on defense. So we'll, we'll go ahead and quickly, I'll show 21-22. We'll go to... Uh, Spring 22, we'll go to NA, Spring Regional 3. 
So we'll just check out the All right, so Daniel did not have a great performance here. But if you look, this is attack, mid, and defense. So his defense was just a little bit higher. How do you join the league? Just go to fanrl.com and uh, then when you create your account, go to join league and it's called Hootie Who League. Torment on defense. Uh, torment on defense is not bad. Um, and obviously, Torment is uh, like a defensive heavy player, but. Um, Torment just doesn't score a whole lot of points in fantasy. Same thing with Arsenal. They, 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 they do a lot for their team, but it doesn't show up in fantasy points. But you can see, uh, you know, a lot of times Daniel will put up actually a higher number on defense rather than offense. And, and a lot of like, uh, a lot of the superstars on their team are like that. Oh, actually, I got it backwards. He's putting more up striker. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. So he actually is putting more up on top. Um, okay, maybe I will s slide him up there. I don't know. Okay, all right, all right. Fair enough, let's look, let's look. So if I put Daniel up top, who do we think I could put back on defense? Maybe Drees? It, yeah, it is close. It's not a huge difference, but... Whereas Pickums, I forget from last season, it's called pickstop.gg. Lionblaze does farm saves. That's true. Fantasy is out. What's up, Speed Sultan? What's up, Schnips? How you doing today? What's up, Orinda? What's up, uh, Skyboy Scrub? Galaxy? How we doing today? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We'll go... Uh, Taroko on defense could actually be pretty good too. LJ, he's gonna be too. He's gonna be too expensive. Or maybe I pick LJ up in hopes that he ends up. So what if I did this? What if I did this? LJ instead of Daniel. And then I've got 2,900 to work with. So I could go 1,400, 1,500. Whoops, not Mina. NA. Oh, it's a bug. Okay, see, that's what I was thinking. It's a bug. All right, all right. It, but what Jar said is still true. What's up, Wicked, Wicked Rich? Um, what Jar said is still true. It's relatively close. Thank you for pointing that out, though. I was thinking that they would put up defense. Put up a little bit more more points defensively. Mm. I don't know. I I I mean, I, I got a lot of faith in LJ as well, but I really like the Daniel pick. I think he's gonna. Have, I think Daniel's gonna have a really big season. I think I'm gonna stick with Daniel. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with Daniel. Mm. And I actually, I actually do think I really, I, I do think I want to plug him in defensively too. I think what I want to do, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, uh, with Knight. Or I'm going to go with Stealth. I'm going to go with Stealth up top. And then I got 1,400 for the last pick as well. So I got Arsenal, Taroko, Drees. Maybe I go Drees in the midfield. I think Drees could have a good event. Maybe I go Drees in the midfield. Let's let's see what that looks like. What do we think about that? We got Stealth CRR as striker. We could we could grab Noli as well. We got two piece and Drees in the midfield. We got Daniel and Mist on defense. How much is Noli? Noli's at fourteen fifty. I wouldn't be able to afford him. I would have to uh, I would have to swap some stuff around. I think this is, uh, yeah, I, I agree. I think Drees has potential at 1400 to be a, a good value. Um, you know, I think he's right around that 1400 value as far as points from last season. Um, but he is going to play a different role on his dig team. So he may end up putting up more than what he did last season. He may not, but 
little bit of a gamble. Stealth, I think it could work out really, really well on offense, or it could go really poorly. Could go really poorly. What's up, Caleb? I like it, though. I, I think I'm going to stick with this. I think I like this. I'll go with this for the first event. This will be in my league. We'll see how this plays out. I like the CRR pick. I think he could. He has a potential to increase in value. I think Daniel, as well, has a potential to increase in value. I think Mist at, at 1550 um, could end up being just a, an absolute steal, to be honest. And then two-piece throughout the season, depending on his performance, man, he could go crazy. I mean, he could end up being a 1600 1700 price player depending on how Rebellion and, and, and him individually, depending on how they perform. Um, Dries, I think, is solid for 1400 Stealth is a big gamble, but Stealth is a, a very impressive player. We'll see how this works out. I like it. I like it. I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to stick with this for now. So this is going to be my fantasy squad in my own league. If you want to join my league, come to the stream, exclamation point fantasy in the chat. It will take you to, the, uh, it will take you to this FanRL website. This is going to be your landing page. You sign in. You sign up wherever it is up here. Go to your dashboard. Go to join league. And my league will be down here. Hooty hoo, fantasy league. Boom, boom, boom. All right. You want to join it? That's how you do it. Next up, we're going to look at pick stop. Pickstop.gg. If you want to play pick stop, you can do exclamation point picks in the chat. And we're going to scroll straight through this. Aaron Ninja Dad, thank you so much for the prime sub. Two months in a row. Six total months of support. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. How much does it cost? Zero dollars. It is free to play, folks. Free to play. Pick the eight teams that are advancing to the next stage. All right. Um, I had Space Station and G2 qualifying straight through. I had Complexity. I had V1. And I had Rebellion. Let me pull up my predictions. Complexity, V1, and then I had Rebellion, Optic, Furia Phase. Okay. Uh, Furia Phase, Optic, and Rebellion. Bang. All right, there's my top eight right there. There's my top eight right there. Do you have a league in pick stop? I do not, but I'm going to start one today. I'm going to start one today. Uh, this is the global league that I'm selecting for right now. We're going to go ahead and keep rolling. Pick the two teams that advance. Three and O. Oh, I got uh, G2, Space Station. Pick the two teams that will be eliminated 0 and 3. I had Luminosity, PK. The picks have been saved. Boom, boom. There we are. Pick stop, GG. You got your picks. 